Hi guys, I'm Nate Savage with muzzleloaders.com. I'm here with MJ Van Dyne with Iron Ordnance, and today we're gonna thread a muzzle loader. Okay guys, we have been doing a lot of muzzleloader bullet testing lately, and we really appreciate having a break on our rifles as it is so much nicer. We feel like we get a lot better accuracy, and it doesn't take a toll on your shoulder when you have a muzzle break. So Absolutely. we use a nitro fire a ton for testing, and so we thought it'd be a really fun idea and a cool video just to see what goes into that process of getting a barrel threaded for your muzzleloader. So MJ, what are we doing with this today? Well, we've got the nitro fire barrel here in the lathe. It's already indicated in and everything. Uh, the first step is to take the outside of the muzzle uh, diameter down to three quarters of an inch. Uh, the barrel is actually a perfect diameter for that for a three quarter 24 muzzle break. After that, we're gonna change over to a threading tool and cut our threads. And then this break right here will screw right on. Awesome, let's rock and roll. This is what we're after right here. That's where the accuracy hides. Stuff sells for $750 million a kilo <laughs> back on Earth. <laughs> All right, so uh, right now we've got the muzzle diameter is uh, turned down to 750 thousandths or three quarters of an inch. There is a nice relief back here for the tool to stop in, but that's also good for the muzzle brake. It makes sure that you can actually thread the muzzle brake all the way on uh, without running into the end of your threads. Nice. Uh, next step is uh, I got to reset the tool angle and get the threading tool set up and then start threading. All right, guys, so we got this all threaded. It looks awesome. I am super excited to go shoot this now. Uh, yeah, we're going to go back to the shop and put it back together. Thanks, MJ. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was fun. All right, guys, we're out here at the range. Uh, we got our nitro fire all threaded. We got our muzzleloaders.com muzzle brake on there. Exciting thing is that the ramrod actually fits with the threads, so that's pretty cool. We can run that out. It's a little tight, but I mean, at least we have it on there, which is pretty cool. And we're gonna get some shots down range and see what the recoil reduction is like on this. So we are gonna start off with 100 grain fire sticks shooting the Bore Driver ELDX with the Federal 209A primers. We're gonna see how that groups first and then maybe we'll move on to the 120s and just kind of see how much different the recoil is between the braked nitro fire and unbraked nitro fire. All right, so we just shot the 100s, way less recoil <laughs> without the completely brakeless. So with the brake is definitely the way to go in my opinion. Now we're gonna move on to the 120s. All right, guys, well, we just got done shooting the 120s, and uh, yeah, recoil's about half. I really uh, enjoyed shooting it with the brake on there. Really excited that we ventured into this project. Thanks for watching today. If you like this kind of content, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video.